Hi YouTube, it's Andrew from moneymental.co.uk, the website dedicated to money and mental health. Uh, today I'm coming at you with an eBay sales roundup where I'll be talking through uh, what I've sold on eBay, um, how much I pay for that item and how much profit I made on each item after fees. And hopefully that'll give you a bit of inspiration for the items to look out for um, that you may be able to sell in your own uh, eBay stores or on eBay as a private seller if that's what you do so without further ado we'll get into item number one um, really good month in October so I've just picked out a few sales from one particular week for you um, I will do a couple more sales updates as well for October just to um, give some further sales the, the sales definitely got better towards the end of the month but yeah as I say sorry let's start with item number one uh, this is a copy of Turek Evolution on the Xbox the game was absolutely mint. It looked like it had never been played. The disc was perfect. The manual was perfect. So I was able to list it as like new. Um, had it up for sale for ages though. Sort of three, four months. I'd spent a pound on it in a charity shop. Really at the start of my reselling journey. So that's how long it had been listed for. Um, yeah, probably about four or five months at least. Um, but yeah, had it originally up for nine ninety nine free shipping. No, no sort of interest or offers on that. So I've been gradually reducing it, and then put on some postage. Uh, so I had it as six ninety nine plus two pound postage. Got an offer in of four pounds, um, which I sort of just accepted straight away without negotiating because we haven't been there for so long. I just wanted to see it out the door. Um, so sold for four pounds plus two pounds shipping, six pound in all. Um, off a one pound investment, that led to about three three pounds fifty profit, which I'm happy to get. Bit disappointed I didn't get more money for the item, but still happy I made a profit and that's something that had been sat there for ages. I gone. Next item is a copy of Dragon Age Two, the signature edition. So this is sort of a special edition of the game, which I think includes some extra content that you can download online. Um, it's a second-hand game, and because it had that sort of downloadable content, I did have to put a disclaimer in to say that anything that requires a code for online use, etc., or downloading stuff, that code will have been used. So really, effectively, all you can do is play the original game on it. But for whatever reason, the signature edition still goes for more money. So I listed it at seven ninety nine plus two pound shipping. I'd actually had an offer um, earlier in the month for this of six pounds, but before I was able to accept the offer, the the uh, bidder had retracted it, which I didn't even know you could do. So I never had a chance to to accept that offer. But anyway, a week or two later, it sold for full asking price. So seven ninety nine plus two pound shipping, nine ninety nine in total. It cost me I think one pound forty nine in the charity shop which is more than I normally like to play, pay for games. But I researched it while I was in a charity shop and I could see it was worth a bit of money. So I was prepared to pay that sort of extra 49 pence. And yeah, sold it for 7 99 £2 shipping. So it was about six, um, just over £6 profit in that item. So worth looking out for if you can get it cheap enough. But just make sure that you do put in the description that any codes, etc. for online access will have been used um, even if they haven't it just covers yourself by putting that in and I got really good feedback from the buyer who's entirely happy with his purchase so he'd obviously read that in the description and had no sort of problems there next item is Contour Sunset Chill Volume 6 now I don't actually think this CD was ever on sale in the UK um, I couldn't find any copies of it on Amazon uh, no copies of it that have been sold on eBay etc I paid um, 33 pence because I think this was sort of part of a free for one pound deal in the charity shop. I picked up three CDs that are on this sort of chill out sort of theme because I was thinking I can try sell them individually initially. And if they don't sell individually, I can bundle them up and sell all three as a bundle for a few pounds and make some money that way. But as it happened, this one sold. Um, sold for two ninety nine plus two pound shipping, so four ninety nine and all. Maybe about sort of between two pound fifty and three pounds profit on that after fees. 
so pleased to see it go but it did take again quite a few months to sell and i am finding that cds whilst they do sell do take absolutely ages to uh, go go through and sell um, especially if they're sort of pre-owned ones so not something that i'm especially going to focus on picking up in the future you know if i see cds at enough of a bargain price i'll go for it but generally i'll probably avoid them because i think most people use things like spotify etc to get their music now but yeah where it's something like this that's along a particular theme and it's it's a rare cd probably worth looking out for if you can get it enough i, I mean i'm 33 piece probably top end of what i'd pay for this idea it would be 10 to 25 pence at most okay so next item these were some henry lloyd um, men's jeans um they were in absolutely perfect condition they look like they'd only be worn once or twice um obviously henry lloyd sort of a designer brand i measured them to confirm that what the actual sort of um waist size and leg size were and i put that in the description because I don't want returns from people saying they don't fit, etc. Um, I think what I'll do in the future as well when I measure those, and I've not had any returns yet, but just to further safeguard yourself, is take a picture of those measurements, just in case anyone shrinks something and tries to return it or whatever, because I've heard some right horror stories about clothes sales. But yeah, anyway, um, these jeans, I um, had them up for probably about three months, Um had some sort of crazy offers in them, sort of 10 to 15 pounds. But I knew they were a quality item, and because of the condition on them, I wasn't prepared to go any less than 20 pounds on offers on these. As it happened, I had an offer from the eventual buyer of these for 20 pounds. Hadn't responded for a couple of hours um, because I was out and I hadn't seen the offer. And I got back, and um, obviously the, the buyer had been desperate to buy these because. Rather than wait for a response to my offer to their offer that they made me, they then actually just came in and bought them at full price for twenty four ninety nine. Um, so that was great because that meant I made um, I got you know full asking price for them. They're obviously keen to buy them, so they were happy that they got their item and twenty four ninety nine is still a reasonable price. These sort of jeans go for about sixty five pounds new, so they made a uh, you know they got a bit of a bargain. Um, they cost me £4.50 in a charity shop, so obviously I got a lot more of a bargain. But yeah, sold for £27.99, including postage. Um, so £4.50 into £27.99, take off fees, shipping. Still looking at about £16, £17 pounds profit. So I'm really pleased with that return there. And if, certainly if I see some Henry Lloyd jeans out there again in the wild that are in good condition. Um, and they're a reasonable price definitely pick them up because i say you can get a good price for them um and the feedback i got from the buyer on these was really good as well said that they fit perfectly so obviously taking those measurements um so the buyer knew what sizes they were getting sort of helped with their decision making process and made sure i had a decent sale uh next item just another one of the games i pick up for 10p i always get um, a bundle of 50 games for five pounds in a local shop uh, and I sell these games usually about sort of one or two a week. Um, so they're always steadily bringing in a, a nice little bit of income. You know, even if they only sell, sell for a pound each plus shipping, I'm still making uh, a profit on that, on that um, and getting consistent sales through. So on this particular one, it sold on offer for two pounds plus two pound shipping so four pounds in all um made me about say two pound forty two pound fifty profit um actually maybe slightly less but certainly more than more than two pounds profit on that so i'm, I'm happy to get that on a 10p item uh bread and butter items for me i'll sell these all day long and the profit just sort of mounts up and mounts up so it's really good for me next item is a bit of retail arbitrage i picked this up um in home bargains cost me um i think about 5.99 um the original rrp on these was 89.99 which was crazy um there were obviously a few of these on ebay the um because you know people do go into home bargains 
bargains and pick up this stuff and list it. So I had it up for about three months, originally for sort of twenty pounds. Gradually reduced it um, to fifteen ninety nine, and I think I just want to check on this one because I think I had an offer on it. Oh no, it sold for the full fifteen pounds ninety nine by the looks of it. Um, normally I have. Um, shipping on it but for whatever reason i forgot to put the free shipping on this so i lost out a bit on the shipping but sort of six pounds into 15.99 take off the shipping it's still a good five or six pounds profit for an item that was hanging around for ages so i was happy to to see that go and make me a profit um probably wouldn't pick it up again i've had the opportunity to get another new one for fiver but i've turned it down just because of how long it took to sell but I think once it's one of those items once everyone's sort of got through the stock that they've bought from home bargains the value will probably start to creep up again but i'm just not prepared to to wait for that really i can and invest my money in sort of more profitable items you know i can get 50 games for a fiver and sell them on for you know 50 60 pounds profit so so yeah but that's my experience of retail arbitrage i still pick up the occasional pieces here and there where i see them really cheap but it's not really something i focus on anymore um, yeah, so this uh, next item, uh, a Factivity um, game. Um, this is originally on sale in Marks and Spencers for a grand total of three ninety nine, or I think it might have been four ninety nine even. Um, it was brand new and never been used. I picked this up as a job lot of items that I grabbed for two pounds. So this item cost me, you know, pennies at most, maybe maybe five five pence, something like that. I worked out as. I'm already in profit on the overall job lot just from selling a printer cartridge that was in it which is why I bought that job lot so I listed this it was brand new and never been opened um, I listed it for 3 99 um, plus three pound postage because it was too big to go um, via Royal Mail large letter obviously I listed it for a while because it still had the three pound postage on it but I had it sold um, to the Royal Shakespeare Company in Stratford, uh, oddly enough. Um, so they obviously want it for kids who are on sort of school trips or whatever, uh, visiting them, I, I would assume, or maybe even as a as, as a prop, I, I don't know. But yeah, it cost them, um, they paid three ninety nine plus £3 postage for it, so that's 6 in total. You know, it was about £4 profit after fees, so pleased with that. And uh, even more pleased with the, the buyers who bought it because that's the first time I've sold to such a uh, illustrious company. Okay, next item. Again, another 10 pence game from me, um, me £5 for 50 games shop. Um, I like to pick up the PlayStation 3 games because they tend to sell a bit quicker than the um, sort of PC games I get from them. Um, this one sold three ninety nine plus two pound shipping, so that off ten p is a good sort of three or four pounds profit. So pleased to see it go. Didn't hang about for a lot too long, a few weeks. I think it's all in the second cycle, in fact. So, so yeah, if you get that for the right price, you can uh, certainly make some profit on it. Next item are these Atlas models. Um, I actually picked up three of these for four pounds each in a charity shop. This one is the Titanic. Um, fortunately, the listing didn't sink like the Titanic. <laughs> Forget my joke there. Um, sold it. It's in brand new. It never be. It still had the wrapping on it. Never been opened. So I was able to sell it for nineteen ninety nine plus three pound fifty um, shipping. So from four pounds, there's a good sort of 12, 13 pound profit on that. So if you do see these um, second hand, they probably go for about half this price. 1999 is really top end. I'd actually sort of outpriced the market because other ones were on for sale for 1999 with free shipping. But I thought put them on at top end, see how they go. And it sold, I think within 48 hours have been listed. So really pleased to see that go and for full asking price i'd have been happy with an offer of 15 pounds so so yeah 12 13 pound profit on that these atlas models do tend to be quite popular they're made in china so i think they're a chinese company but they do have limited production runs so i think that adds to the value 
And then final item is this Charles, I can't say it, I'm not going to say it, but this shirt that was brand new in the charity shop. Cost me, I think, £3.50. Sold it for £11.99 plus £3 shipping. So I think that's, what, 14 15 just over £15 in all. Um, you can tell by the price of the shipping again that I hadn't listed for ages. But I knew it was going to sell eventually. Um, I think what held it back from selling was the quality of the photos. So it has persuaded me to invest in a new camera which I bought off eBay. And hopefully that will start improving the quality of my photos. And it will therefore improve the quality of my, of my sales. But yeah, sort of a good sort of £6 profit on that. So yeah, really good profit there with those sales. Um, so hopefully you'll have found that useful. Um, give you some inspiration for what to buy yourselves. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe. And tap the little bell just below this video. And you'll get alerts when I put new content up. Okay, thanks for watching and happy selling.